In the kitchen with me today is Light and Easy Ambassador Dom. You're going to make a delicious curry. Ooh, I like the sound oh, of this. Winter warmer. Very much a winter warmer. <laughs> and this is a really gorgeous coconut beef curry. Yum. Great. Uh, favourite takeaway, yes. but I'm going to show you how to make it a little bit lighter yes. and with more vegetables. Everyone likes that. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Sure, okay. sure. Now, Justine, while I'm going to throw this together, mm -hmm. do you want to just chop up that lemongrass for me? Can do. So a little bit of oil in a pan. Um, using a non-stick pan so you don't really need too much oil. I'm going to get that on so it's nice and hot. So we're just going to get these onions. And we're going to add in just some stewing steak okay. or chuck or whatever you like, nice big, yeah. big chunks. Because it's a slow cook, you don't want to be using a super, um, you know, no, leaner really lean. cuts. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So something that's going to be able to take a nice long cook. Yep. Um, you can do this in your um, slow cooker as well if yes, you want. You know, absolutely. so it's a really nice versatile recipe. Now we just want a little bit of colour on that beef, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir. And these kaffir limes that I'm finally chopping, oh, so fragrant. So fragrant. And what I've done is I've just rolled them up and then tried to cut them as fine as possible and taking out the centre part of it because that's not very easy to digest, is it? No, they're a little stalky. And we've just got a great store-bought curry paste, which makes it really nice and easy. So a nice tablespoon okay. of the curry paste in. A little garlic and ginger. Nice. Wait till you just start stirring through. The aroma mm. of this is just amazing. And when you're using any curry paste, you do want to toast it off slightly because it is made up of a lot of different raw ingredients. Exactly, yep. yeah. Yep. So just a little bit in the pan just to kind of get it together. Now, to create the delicious coconut, creamy coconut sauce, I've got some beef stock. Okay. Now, coconut cream, we're actually just going to take just a bit of that top layer right. off. So just a couple of spoons. Yeah, because it does split, so it is quite liquefied down the bottom. And is that all you add? You don't That's need much. That's it. No, we don't need much because we've got the stock. And you are going to do for me, oh, pop all that lemongrass and lime leaf in for me. Lovely. It's delicious. Uh, some star anise and cinnamon stick. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of raw sugar. Nice. So Justine, just on a low heat for about 40 minutes. Yes. Lid on? Lid on. Lid on, sounds good. Okay, Justine, that curry's almost ready. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do the brown rice quinoa. Okay. Yeah, if you chug that off for me. I've already got the water boiling. Mm -hmm. So in with the brown rice. The quinoa's great because it's just extra protein and also yes. it gives a really nice, bit more of a nutty crunch to the rice. Yes. So Justine, once the brown rice and quinoa is almost ready, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is pop the um, pumpkin and zucchini into the steamer and steam that on top, which I think is a fantastic idea, a great way of saving on pods. Yep. And you get full flavour of all your vegetables into your quinoa and brown rice. I like your thinking. <laughs> Oh, it smells pretty just, good in here. Doesn't it? I know. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is thicken the sauce. I'm going to get you to do what we call as a slurry, okay. which is a mixture of corn flour with a little bit of uh, water. Mm -hmm. And you're going to pop that into the curry. I'm going to stir the steamed vegetables through our quinoa and brown rice. We've really left those vegetables to the last minute so they stay nice and tender. They're not overcooked. Not at all. And this slurry is just going to thicken up this sauce. Uh, the whole lot. The whole lot. Pop All that right. in. There we go. And again, this is this adds to the creaminess and that mm. really beautiful texture that you want with a curry sauce without having to add in all of the extra fat and everything as well. If you can add the fish sauce and a little squeeze of lime juice sure. into our curry. It's, it's, it's very so traditional nice. in curry like this is at the last minute that fish sauce for saltiness, acidity, squeeze of lime. I'm just going to use my spoon there. Good little tip. Just get as much of that juice out as possible. Perfect. Oh, delicious. All right. So I'll serve this out. Mm -hmm. Yum. A great way to hide more vegetables or get more vegetables into your diet. Just folding it through your quinoa and uh, your brown rice. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, really nice and easy. And look, you know, this has taken about 50 minutes. So it's almost an hour all up. Yeah. But if you don't have the time, 
to be cooking. It's mm -hmm. so easy mm. just to have the um, coconut beef curry in the freezer from Light and Easy and then it's ready in eight minutes. Ooh, oh, and I want to try this. It's that little piece there. It's got my name on it. So tender too. The meat's just falling So apart. tender. Bit of pumpkin. Mmm. It's so good. In winter, this is the type of food I feel like and I don't even feel guilty because it's the healthy version. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice one. <laughs>